Hi there, traders. This is Brad Gilbert with another training session, Executing with Gorilla Trader. Now, first of all, just want to apologize for those traders who have signed on for this training session. I had to adjust the uh, timing of the event. So you may come to it and uh, see that it's already been done. I apologize for that. But let me just run through this very quickly. It's uh, There's just a few key things that you need to be aware of when executing with Gorilla Trader. Because if you get this right, you're going to use it a lot. You can set up trades to execute 6, 10, a day, two days before the data is released. So realistically, you could be going on vacation and set up three or four trades to execute on key numbers in the future. All right, now let's just go through the components here. Now, just looking at uh, Gorilla Trader itself, right? There's, there's a number of key characteristics that you need to be wary of, okay? Most importantly, the time of the trade execution, right? This is very important because if you mess this up, the trade will be put on at the wrong time and you'll miss the execution opportunity. Now, use local time is set to true, right? True means using your desktop time. If you put it to false, it'll use the time on your trading platform. And depending where you are, could be Australasia, could be North America, then you may actually have the wrong time set on your or a different time set on your platform and you will need to adjust um, the execution time to match up with the data time, right? And that's the key part to it. Let me just come back and just go through the data quickly because the key aspect here is hitting the numbers at the correct time, right? So let me just use the unemployment rate out of the Eurozone as an example. Now, what we would be looking for, now, the current market in the euro is trading lower, right? Momentum is down. So if I'm looking to go with momentum, which is the easiest trade, all we need is weaker numbers here, right? And ideally below the low, which turns out to be the Reuters poll on this occasion, that would suit us, right? A number of 6.2, 6.3, euro starts going down, especially with the current momentum. So the key data here or the key information we need is what time is this coming out? It's coming out at 9 a.m. Uh, UTC time, right? So that's the time that we need to be aware of. Now, once we've done our analysis, it's quite easy to come back and just pinpoint, you know, the direction and what we need, right? I use Gorilla Trader when I know I've got clear direction in the market and that's when I'll be targeting, right, all I need here is weaker numbers and the next leg of the trade down will kick into gear. Okay, so that's the key part to it. Now, just on that aspect. Now, what we're looking for with Gorilla Trader is, is medium to high variance. Low variance, okay, it can cause a little bit of volatility. And if your order is too close to the market, you could get triggered and be sitting there nursing a position out of the cash. Right. If the momentum is down, well, you're probably going to have a chance to get out of the trade flat anyway. But the idea is to avoid the initial volatility. So you wrote at the moment is trading at 110.67. So the pip offset here, this is the key part to Gorilla Trader, putting the order on the market, avoiding the volatility just before the release, and then being in the right position to execute if the data matches up with our expectations. And that would generally be with the momentum direction in the market. Okay. And then there's a couple of different aspects. We have two trading opportunities we can place here. Now, these two trades can be the same way. They can be in opposite directions, or you can actually set it up so there's no trade. All right. So I generally like to, if I'm only placing one order in the market, okay, I like to go none. So that means I know I've got control over what's happening. The take there's a less chance of the EA uh, misexecuting or misfiring, and that sort of makes me feel a little bit more comfortable. All right, so and then down the bottom here, you've got the trailing stop features or stop moves. You've got all the same functionality, the uh, expiry seconds. Now this is probably the second most important. The most important is the timing, right? Let me just sort of run through that because there's a little sequence here that you need to do. Now, when you come to the time, you need to come back. If you don't set the, the time to in the future, right, 
doesn't matter what you do, what you set up, the order will, will be placed in the market immediately, right? So make sure if I click today, right, it goes to the start of today, right? And so then I can actually work out exactly when this uh, trade is going to be executed. Now, if I'm looking for a trade to the downside, right? Say I want to have a sell stop, right? I can have two sell stops here. I can place one, um, you know, 15 points or 12 points from the market and another one at 20 points from the market, right? And I could also have that first trade pip offset. It's get, the order is going to be placed in the market 12 points below because it's a sell stop and it's going to expire in 15 seconds. I could have a second order here, okay? Maybe it's 20 points if we do get hugely variant numbers and that could cancel in say 30 seconds. So you can have two trades on the same direction, different expiry times, right? That's to try and stagger the trade or trying to capture a really big uh, weak number, right? This would be ideal for like an inflation number or a potential interest rate cut or hike for that matter from a central bank. Now, let me just go through this just with one trade, right? What I'm looking for, the direction in Euro is down. We've got the unemployment figures coming out. I can see Euro trading at 110.67. To avoid the initial volatility, I'm going to place a pending sell stop order in the market 12 points below the current market. Now, that's the default setting for Gorilla Traders, so you don't need to do too much. I've got a 25-point stop loss attached to that, a 75-point take profit, and this order, when it's placed in the market, will expire 15 seconds after it is put in the market. Okay, so that's going to allow me to place a trade, say, five seconds before the data is released and then expire 10 seconds afterwards. Now, you may want to finesse that as you get more experience using Gorilla Trader, but believe me, there's, there's always a delay here or there with the data. And sometimes if your order is cancelled early, then you may miss the opportunity altogether. Now, just while I think of it, like you can use Gorilla Trader, and it's a good idea to, even if you're in front of the screens, because it allows you to, to watch the market as opposed to hitting buy or sell or doing these other things, right? It's a really good tool to, to take control of the execution, allow you to monitor the market, and you can close out the trade making judgment calls without worrying about placing orders in the market manually or deleting or cancelling orders. Okay, let's just go up here to the execution. Now, let me just use my current time. So I'm currently in Asia. So I'm going to use 10 and uh, I've got 21.39. So let me just go 10, okay, 22 and 55 seconds, right? So that's going to allow me, uh, we've got one minute till this order is placed in the market. Now, all I need to do is make sure I've got everything set correctly. I want to have a sell stop in the market. Okay, there's no OCO because I've only got one order in the market. So let me just change this to none. Okay, let me just put five lots here. Now the pip offset. Now this is an unemployment number and the European numbers aren't dramatically volatile, right? So I'm going to place an order 12 points below the market. If this was the US non-farm payrolls, you might want to put that about 30 points away, right? In actual fact, I wouldn't actually encourage you to use that because the volatility around the non-farm payrolls is quite large. Now, the expiry time, 15 seconds. Okay, so I've got everything set the way I want it. So if I hit OK, then we get the order details up here on the left-hand side of your chart. I've got a sell stop, five lots, pip offset is 12 points. I'm risking $1,250. I've got a stop loss of 25, take profit of 75, expire in 15 seconds. Okay, you can see the order in play here. It's placed in the market. We're waiting for the execution. Now, of course, the data isn't coming out, but what I want to show you is this order will be cancelled 15 seconds after the order is on, and there it goes. Okay, so what it does is it gives you clinical execution around the economic numbers. Okay, we get the opportunity to place a temporary pending order in the market it either gets triggered or it gets cancelled, okay? And that's what you want. And as I said, that's going to enable you to trade um, these numbers a lot more calmly than hitting buy or sell. And what you can do at that point 
is just watch your screens and you're looking for the penny to drop. You know that if that comes out, say, 6.2 below the expectation, euro is going to go down and you will have an order in play. So all you need to do is sit back and watch the, uh, the currency move around and make judgment calls on where you may want to take profit. Okay. And that's as simple as it is. Don't overcomplicate Gorilla Trader. Just, just make sure that when you are placing Gorilla in the market, you get the right time. So get used to the habit. When you are practicing using this tool, click on the, the uh, drop down there on the time on the calendar, hit today, and then you can start coming in and finessing your execution. All right. Now, don't forget, true is your desktop computer time. Okay. False is your platform time. You got to get those right because if you've got those wrong, well, then you need to uh, adjust those to make sure you've got the right execution time. All right. Now, if I'm in Australasia or North America, right, most of the platforms, uh, these platforms are in uh, London. So if, if I'm trading at 9 a.m. Uh, European time or UK European time, what I will have to do on my computer is actually come in and make sure I set the time here correct to my um, computer time, right? So if it's 9 a.m., I'm going to be 18, probably 59, like 7 p.m. and 55 seconds, and that will give me an execution. If I expire time of 15 seconds, I'll get the order in the market. Don't forget, make sure if you're trading one side of the market that you nail the right side. I'll put a sell stop just to show you the same thing once again. Place the order in the market. And that order will sit there, as I said, right? This is going to be put in the market in, uh, what we got there? Eight, nine, 11 hours, I think it is. And that's what I mean. You can actually go through your calendar and at, on a Monday and set trading opportunities based off your calendar. And that's like set and forget. You know, if the trades are put in play, and you look at the, the economic calendar, well, you can go through and cherry pick the key data releases that you know will create volatility. All you need to really check, you know, and this is for me, and what I do is I look to, for where direction and momentum is. So all I need, would need to check is, yeah, euro is going down, great. If I get a weak number here, it's going to accelerate to the downside, and that's a trade for me, right? So that's an easy way to place trades in the market, as I said, go through your calendar, isolate the key events, and get these trades in play, right? And if you do see something happening, you can easily manage these on your mobile phone, or you obviously would be using a VPS, because if you turn your computer off, it's not going to work. But if I come back into this one here, I can just remove Gorilla Trader, and there's no risk involved at all. All right, guys, so that's how to uh, execute with Gorilla Trader. It's a great tool. We just need the numbers to match up uh, with direction. And you've got to trade in play and you're going to like just chip away and add cash to your account. All right, guys, good luck. Happy trading.